Hello guys. So welcome to Kio Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So let's complete this few of the things of the texturing part. Then we'll start up with the lighting part for this particular interior over here. So, so what I'll be doing over here, I'll just select this part over here and slightly I'll shuffle this a bit up. Looks much better now. So select this. So let's just attach this. Go into the V-ray material and let's go into the bitmap and let's take this file texture set it as UVW map set it as a box so I can slightly just increase its height and width accordingly and I can set this so if you want I can just attach one more file with it and let's give a UVW map set it as a box and increase its height so once you are done you can slightly work with this gizmo and you can slightly just push it if required down So now, uh, I'll just slightly shuffle this and if you want you can slightly just scale this much better. Just duplicate this file over here. Now, so we have assigned this, so same thing we will assign the texture for the books over here, the same way, so again select the polygons, this is, doesn't look like books, uh, okay we can, perfect, we will assign the texture of the books only so again go into this take V-ray material go into the diffuse bitmap and let's assign a texture to it so just give a UVW map over here set it as a box so I'll slightly just shuffle this and convert to editable poly select the polygons go into the material So few things left, uh, so I will again assign up a chrome material, so let us just give a chrome shader, so I will give a reflection, increase this Fresnel IOR. reduce this Fresnel IOR
assign this so I'll again go into this I'll just ungroup this all let's just give a chrome shader So we can assign a chrome shader for this. So we can just give the reflection as white over here. So make it as black. And set it as this value over here. Our glossiness, I'll keep it as 0 0.9. Fresnel IOR, set it to 25. Max depth, set it as 10. And subdivisions, let's set it as 32. For Chrome. Let's assign it and let's render and see how it looks like. Now you get the proper reflections for it. So we need to go with the same thing for this all. So I'll ungroup this. That's a, a proper chrome shader. The same way, we'll be going with the same thing for this also. Select this all. Select this. Looks much better now. So it's giving high reflections because of this as we have assigned this chrome over here if you look at it properly so if you want I can slightly reduce the reflections that's totally okay so select this and this I'll go to the top This is not fully chrome, a bit satin. So let's again go into the material. Let's take a media material. Light yellowish color, slight reflection, and and you have this glossiness slightly. All right. So once you're done, I can go into this view over here, and let's take 
a V-ray physical camera. Let's drag this camera till here like this. And let's go into this view. Set this as perspective. And I can just adjust this view perfectly. So I can just select the target, adjust it in this way. Now push it inside, rotate it, select it. I can just go into this and I can make it as local, slightly. Shuffle it and this way select this now looks much better so we need to uh, focus some particular things now I think this looks much much better so this view looks much better so if you see now this is totally getting into it so I can just select this I'll just duplicate it. So select this part and So let's uh, get back to the camera view. This is your camera view over here. So let's see how it looks like from this camera view. I can go into the shutter speed and I can just set something like this, the shutter speed. So let's go into this front view. Let's go into this V-Ray. And let's take a V-Ray Sun. Let's take a V-Ray Sunlight. Drag this light right into this view. Let's click OK. So I'll go into this and change the turbidity, the ozone. I'll just set one light color to it. So now if you see this, if you check this out, slightly just shuffle this, select the light, push this light a bit up, photon emit radius, I'll increase this photon emit radius and the intensity, let's make it to 0.4. 
of 0 0.05 so I'll just reduce the intensity of the light to 0 0.05 for now go into the rendering render setup and into the V-Ray and let's off this GI environment for now can on and off the GI environment if required. So if you want to see how it looks from a camera right now, so I'll just select this uh, camera over here and let's check out some balancing part. That's your neutral, that's your daylight. So let's make it as neutral for now and let's render and see how the scene looks like. So it looks very flat right now. We have just added one V-ray light. That's a V-ray sunlight over here for now. So convert to poly. That's it. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.